Welcome back to State of the Nation. The local government elections are surely an interesting period in the political advancement in Nigeria and Lagos State seems to be more times than often uh, leading that very trail. Issues have come up though in the build-up to this election which has uh, held uh, primaries lately which was marred by violence over a legend position of candidate. Let's talk about that now, shall we? I still have in the studio with me, Turno Boru. He's a political analyst and also uh, Sadiq Ibrahim in our Abuja studios. He is a member of the review of the constitution uh, there in Abuja. I want to thank you still for staying through with us at this time. Let me ask you one question. How do you respond, just before we go on this one, how do you respond to his, his thoughts that uh, there are sections in the constitution that gives the governors explicit uh, you know, uh, powers to get inside the accounts of the, the local government. Those provisions of the constitution, just like the federation account, every money that comes in there comes to the federation account. The constitution is clear. There are three tiers of government distribute the money according to percentage as approved by the Revenue Mobilization Commission. The amount accruable to the state, even though it is to the state, is specific. The amount accruable to the local government is specific. Even though it is paid into an account owned by the state, the state knows exactly how much belongs to the state and how much belongs to the local government. When the state, local, the state house or assembly is appropriating the funds, they are not supposed to appropriate the funds for local government for the state. Mm. They must appropriate the state's money for the state gov for the local governments for local governments. Okay, let me pick you but up. what you have is that we have an abuse. State governors, because the money is put in a joint account, mm. they just use their position, you get it, and spend the money. Okay, sh shall we, shall we, you've, you've, you've clarified your own point to that. Uh, let's look at the Lagos LG elections. How far can democracy uh, and indeed governance at the grassroots make meaningful uh, progress if we still have to contend with issues of imposition of candidates as alleged in this particular uh, this uh, is this, uh, you see this issue of at. this issue of imposition of can, of candidates on parties, no internal democracy. It's our greatest problem. This was what killed PDP, and APC have not learned from PDP. The same syndrome is what we are finding. The, you, you, you find the situation: the political class must go back to the drawing board, because how can a governor of a state? It has not happened in this state right now, will buy arms and ammunition and give to young men for an election. You don't have proof of that, do you? <laughs> we have arrested in a Delta state, the de former deputy governor was arrested with arms. Who buy the arms for the youths? They don't have money to buy arms and ammunition of their own. They, you have just local government elections, mm -hmm. primaries, you are having wars within a party. It's not intra-party yet. I think about 35,000 policemen have been mobilized for local government elections in Lagos State. Because of what? Likelihood of violence. That, that violence... You uh, get it. There, so there is a formula. INEX says there is a formula to try to uh, contain violence at times of election. But let's get the views of uh, Sadiq in Abuja. Uh, Mr. Ibrahim, you do know that uh, this election, what do you think of it? Will... Uh, what do you think will be the outcome, uh, to be specific, if when the use of a card reader, widely accepted as a means to do away with violence and rigging, is not used in the Lagos LG elections? What do you think the outcome will be? Well, um, first of all, let us, let us define what, 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 the, what the challenges are before we expect, we'll see what, are the, what may be the expected outcome. To me, putting the Lagos local government election tomorrow in a context, there are basically two issues. One, a party that has done its own primaries, mad by violence and rigging. Some of its members that lost in that election, or that were rigged out of that election, were unhappy with the outcome and they went to court. The second one is about National Questions Party. National Questions Party, in the Lagos law, every party that is contesting the election has to pay pri uh, uh, administrative charges. National Questions Party said they will not pay any administrative charges because their former chairman, Chief Gadifoyemi, 
before he died, he has gone to court to challenge the, cha the administrative charges. And the court declared that those charges are illegal. Now, we have to be very clear in our minds that in democracy, the right of the citizen to elect a person who represents him and timing of election, that, I mean, that, that means changing of the person who rep rep represents you. If you don't want him again, you can vote him out. These are characteristics that make democracy tick. It makes the right of choice tick. But a situation where a party cannot conduct simple primary election into local government election and allow people the right to vote who they want is pathetic. So do you think that uh, this, uh, the results, no. do you think that at the end of this, uh, this exercise, the results will be widely seen as free, fair and credible? What do you think? That's why the courts are there. Uh, what the point I'm trying to make is that there is nobody in this country that can go to court and obtain an injection to stop an, a scheduled election. That, that is settled. If you go to court and then you come to the television and say, I've gone to court, therefore this election should not hold. Election must hold. Otherwise, people will lose confidence in the system. So elections will go ahead tomorrow. It's not because Lagos State is, is, is saying that we must hold elections, but that's the law. Election cannot be stopped by any court of law by of, of injunction. Okay, There's no doubt. Let, let, me, put you, let me come to you. So if you have to wait. There are three uh, election my apologies. Matters. Let me just put yeah. you on, on hold uh, there. How do you think this is going to work out? For instance, he has said that uh, elections must hold, even if you're in court or not. But what about that candidate who feels that his name was expunged from that list and then the elections have to go on the next day? Shouldn't there be an, uh, an, an express law? that helps him to, to address these issues even before the elections go on? The, the Amechi case, Anomeha in River State, was a similar case where you had intra-party intra conflicts of who is the proper candidate. And Amechi finally won the case at the Supreme Court. Omeha was removed. The point is you can't hold down time. Time moves. So if you stop because of a candidate who is aggrieved, it is the party that contests election in Nigeria, not even the candidates. So the candidates of, of the party, who is the correct candidate, once that is determined by the court, if it's the person who is contesting now wins, they will remove that man and he will enter there. That is the way our law is now. So you can't stop that. But for the issue of card reader, the Supreme Court have made it abundantly clear that, look, card readers have not received the blessing of the Electoral Act. Until it is amended, it cannot be anything you can rely on. Because manuals or guidelines mm. that are inconsistent so, with... So that, the, that's, that's the, the biggest so problem this we is have. Where the, you don't need card reader to have a free and fair election. Thank you. That's, that's a good you place. Get it. That's a good place to come. <laughs> yes. To, to, because it's to, just for accreditation. To end it. I want to thank you so much indeed. Turner Oboro, he's a political <laughs> analyst, as well as uh, uh, Sadiq Ibrahim. He's, of, of course, a member of the uh, committee review, that's the Constitution Committee Review Mechanism in Abuja. I want to thank you so much indeed for talking to us and giving your sincere views on the issue of uh, uh, autonomy for the states as well as the Lagos LG elections. And of course to you who's been part of the show, many thanks indeed for watching. I'm Gimba Omar. Bye for now.